Hey there friends, my name is Joachim and in today's video we're breaking down iGEMS Organizer. So what is this organizer? Well, it's a database for storing your parts. And this can amp up your workflow if you have multiple users because you can connect the organizer from different computers as long as they're pointing at the same shared folder. And then you can access these parts from, for example, the Autonest command. But let's jump in and see some features. So the organizer command you will find under our cam tab and organizer. So we have a button called register and one organizer. You also want to make sure that under iGEMS preferences, preferences and general, you want to set up your shared folder on the same locations for every computer if you want to connect the organizer. So to register parts, you have to, well, make parts at first. So we select these and um, we say okay. So these are aluminium, standard quality, three millimeters. They're assigned to the machine called iGEMS. So to register these, we click register, select parts, and here we have some information, the ID, name, quantity, and produced. So there is zero produced here. We can set release for production if they're ready for production or not. Uh, and we also want to open organizer after this. So register, we have all the parts that registered here. I want to show all, so I'll just refresh this and you will see that we have more parts here. So all of these with stainless steel are the parts from our Autonest sample file. So all of these have stainless steel standard 10 millimeters. And you will also see that they are released, so they are open for production. So in here, we can create filters if we have a database that is a lot bigger than this. We might want to sort on the material perhaps. So I right click on the material, stainless steel. So that would add a filter on the material equals stainless steel. All right. And maybe we want to add a thickness as well. So I right click on the thickness and it adds thickness equals 10 millimeters. And we can add filters on our own here. Maybe I want to have, mm, if it's released, equals one. All right, so now that filtered away all of the aluminum that we just added before. And of course we can assign these to uh, a profile. So maybe we want to call this SS10MM for stainless steel 10 millimeters. All right, so if we go back to show all, we have the aluminum here, and if we have SS10 mil, we have all of the stainless steel standard 10 millimeters open for production. If I want to edit this, of course I can go into edit profile and I can edit this however I want to. I can click on settings and we can use our own variables here. We can change the display name of all of these tags and we have more features but I won't go into this this is too detailed so of course we can also search if I want to search for part-30 I can hit search part-30 and that thing will appear but let's just go back to SS 10 millimeters we can also export this to Excel so all of the data will be exported to Excel where you can do whatever you want with it, basically. And of course, also a report tab. So we can select all of the materials, hit report, and we get a detailed report of all the parts like this. Let's close that. So uh, maybe I'd like to, let's just uncheck this. Maybe I want to, use the 
five, six, and seven, and I want to insert them. So I hit insert, all of these, yes, insert. Here and here. So these are inserted into a new drawing. But there's a better way to do this. Let's open a new drawing, head over to nest, auto nest, it asks for part, but we're not going to add parts in this state. So we click done, select sheets. We're not going to do that either. But we are going to select our stainless steel standard quality 10 millimeters. Okay. So from here, we can add parts from the organizer. So we click on this and now we can use our stainless steel 10 millimeter filter that we created. So now we only have these. I want to select everything and I want to insert them. All of these insert. And maybe we want to use common cut line. Sure, nest. We use our standard sheets, two by one meters. All right, sheets added, press nests again to start nesting. All right. So let's see what happens. We've added parts and sheets without drawing anything. So this process, let's see, okay here. This process can save you a lot of time and it's just a great way of working if you're more than one person in your team. Of course it works if you're one person as well, but maybe you're one guy drawing the parts and maybe one guy who is the operator who creates the contours and everything before it goes to the machine. So that's the organizer, basically. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like this video and want to see more of this. You have a great day. Bye.